Hello, in this lecture we're going to work some test type problems, problems that could be short enough to fit into a multiple choice type format. So we have here, a company uses the FIFO method for inventory costing. At the beginning of a period, the production department had 30,000 units at the beginning in work in process inventory, which were 45% complete. The department completed the transfer 170,000 units. At the end of the period, 27,000 units were in the ending work in process and 80% complete. Compute the number of equivalent units produced by the department. So what we're doing here, of course, is transferring from the work in process to finished goods. And in order to do that, we have to determine how much of the goods have been completed in terms mainly of con conversion costs, which means the amount of labor and the amount of overhead that's going into these units. We're going to assume a first in, first out, meaning that the stuff that was in there at the beginning has uh, you know been transferred out we finished those first before we started on some other units that's the assumption that we're making on the flow assumption so if we take a look at this we, we're going to break this out this way we could say beginning work in process we had thirty thousand units now those units are of all areas of completion and uh, we're going to come to some kind of determination on how complete they're done meaning we got probably the raw materials in there how much complete are, have been done in terms of the work to the raw materials and uh, the overhead applied to it, the conversion type stuff. We're going to say 0.45, 45%. If we go to the home tab, we go to the numbers, we add decimals or we make it a percentage. We're going to say that those 30,000 units are equivalent to uh, the 30,000 times 45, the equivalent units of 13,500. Now the trick to this is to have the units that are both started and completed and if we could do that we can say okay th those units are 100 percent completed throughout the process because we started and completed them now they're not going to include this one this 30,000, of course because those were started last period last month probably and uh, therefore those are going to be completed but they weren't started and completed they were just finished here and therefore we're going to try to figure out how much were started and completed we could do that by saying how many units were transferred out uh, in total, 170,000 total units were transferred from the working process to the ending. Therefore, we can take the 170,000 that were transferred out and we're going to subtract from that the 30,000 because those are included in the 170 and they weren't started and completed. So that means that 140,000 were started and completed. And of course, those are one or 100% uh, completed and started during the time period. So if we calculate the equivalent units, 140 times 100% will be 140. And then we have the ending work in process. So the ending work in process, they say are 27,000. Those are the stuff that's still in there, not quite done. And they're gonna have to give us some kind of rate of completion on that. And we're gonna say 80%, 0.8. So I'm gonna go back here, home tab, numbers, make it a percentage. Therefore, the equivalent units would be equal to the 27,000 times the 80% or 21.6. Okay, and let's read back here. We're going to say compute the number of equivalent units produced by the department. Now, there's going to be one other piece we're going to need to uh, figure out here. We, we've produced the amount that uh, was finished in this beginning working process as of the end of last time, meaning there was 45 units that were completed equivalent units of 13.5. That means we're going to have to finish those units. So there's a couple ways we can calculate the amount that will be done this period. One is we could say, well, if we did 45 percent uh last time we're gonna have to take 100 percent minus 45 percent and if we make that a percentage that would mean 55 so if if it was uh 45 percent done last time how much is going to be done this time 30,000 times the remaining 55 or of course we could have also have said if there's 30,000 units and we did 13.5 equivalent units that means we got the 16.5 we're going to have to do this time so this was done in this period, this was done in this period, and this is the beginning inventory that will be, will be completed this time. Therefore, if we sum these up, then we get the 16.5 plus the 140 plus the 21.6 gives us the 178 one equivalent unit. Next one says that during the month, the production department of a process operations system completed and transferred to finished goods 20,000 units that were in process at the beginning of the month and 180,000 that were started and completed in the month. The month's beginning inventory was 100% complete with respect to materials, 62% complete with respect to conversion. At the end of the month, 37,000 additional units were in process in the production department and 
were 100% complete with respect to materials, 21% complete with respect to conversion, compute the number of equivalent units with respect to both materials and conversion, respectively. So this is a very long, ugly looking problem here, but uh, if we get the format of these types of problems, they're not so bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up kind of our table here and we're going to have two parts to it. We got the material and we got the conversion. And, and so conversion, something like that. And we know that uh, the materials obviously is pretty straightforward. That's what's going to go into the stuff. But the conversion, remember, is that's the stuff that goes into inventory that converts the material to the finished goods, including the direct labor and, or the, well, the labor and the overhead. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We're going to break this out and we're going to start with the beginning to be completed. So this is the stuff that was in. You can think of it kind of, it's still in the mixing pot, whatever we're doing. If we're making cookies, it's still in the mixing department. We haven't finished it. It's in there as of the beginning of the month. So we're trying to figure out how much of it needs to then be completed at this point in time. So what needs to be done to it this month uh, as it's already been started last month. There's 20,000 units in there. And we, we're making the assumption that uh, the materials are going to be in there at the beginning. That's going to be a general assumption that's usually made. They'll have to state that. But usually that's going to be the assumption. If, if, it's in, if there's something in process, the material is already in there. It's just the conversion we need to put in. So we just got to kind of memorize for these types of problems that the beginning for this month, it's going to be zero for the material. Again, why? Because even though there's 20,000 units in there, that all went into the process that we we're working on last month. Therefore, none of it is going into the process this month. It was accounted for last month. On the conversion half of it, we're going to have to say, okay, how much of it was done, completed in terms of direct labor and overhead? And they're going to have to give us some kind of percentage on that. And they're going to say that uh, the 62% was completed last month. Therefore, how much was completed this month? It's going to be equal to 100% minus 62 or 1 minus 0.62. So if I hit enter and I'm going to go up to the home tab and add decimals, it's 48, I mean, 38%. If we add the percentage, 38%. So if 62 was completed last time, what do we got to do this time? We have to finish it. We have to complete the remaining 38% of conversion to finish up the product. So we're going to say of those 20,000 units times the 38, we have equivalent units of 7,006 that we're going to do this month. And then we're going to break this out by the start and complete units, the units that we started and complete. And in this case, they actually just gave us that number. They're going to say that uh, at the beginning of the month, and we had 180 that were started and completed. Sometimes they give us the amount that was transferred out, and we have to take that number and subtract the beginning uh, amount from it, assuming that this was started. But they just gave us the 180 this time, 180,000. And if it was started and completed, the whole point of us uh, determining this number and breaking it out separately is because we know that 100% of that equivalent units were started and completed. So for both materials and conversion, 100% of those are, are there for equivalent units. Then we've got the ending inventory. That uh, This is the stuff that's not quite complete yet. And so we're going to say that at the end, they say that 37,000 units are still in there. Now, on the material side, similar logic that we did up here where we said we're not going to do anything to the materials. It's already in there. In this case, if we started it this time, even if we haven't completed it, that means that all the materials went in there because that's the first thing we do to start it. If we're going to you know, bake the cookies, we put all the cookie dough in there first. So that's already done. As far as conversion, if we started them this month, they're all in there. I mean, as far as material, if we started them, that's all in there. As far as conversion, we're going to have to say, okay, how much of the work is still done and how much is not done? They're going to give us the amount that is done. So 21% of it has been done this month. That's what we're calculating. Therefore, of the 37,000 total units times 21% completed with respect to conversion means that we have 7,770 equivalent units with regard to conversion. So if we add these up, then we're going to sum up the materials. 0 plus 180,000 plus 37,000 gives us the 217,000. And the conversion equals the sum of... 7,600 plus 180,000 plus 7,770 gives us the uh, 195,370.